This is Michael Canick with your Bridgeway to Success. Two years of a sluggish economy can take its toll on you and your people, which means it's a good time to revisit the fundamentals of workplace motivation. Frederick Hertzberg, a pioneer in researching motivation in the workplace, discovered there are factors that help to motivate and factors that work to demotivate. Critically, they're not the same. The primary motivating factors include the nature of the work, having responsibility, the opportunity for achievement, recognition, the opportunity to grow, and the opportunity for advancement. The main demotivating factors include poor compensation, one's supervisor, co-worker relationships, working conditions, job security, and company policies and administration. Meaning, if these things aren't good, they demotivate. However, and this is a key point, if they are good, they don't motivate, they're neutral. Having good job security doesn't cause people to be more motivated. More recent research supports and elaborates on these findings, which can vary based on job requirements. See, for example, www.danpink.com forward slash drive. The good news? Recognition, positive supervisor-employee relationships, and company policies and administration are all low-cost things you can control. And in tough economic times, recognition is especially important so your people feel valued and respected. What does it all mean? Focus on cultivating motivation and avoiding demotivation. Now more than ever, that's what your people need.